Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. And today I'm going to explain the idea of Adobe Forms in SAP. Uh, as we know, if, we, if there is any form development, we have an option like SAP Scripts, Smart Forms and Adobe. And uh, the advanced level of the form design is Adobe as of now. So if you get a chance uh, to develop any forms from a scratch and your uh, customer system has ability of developing an Adobe Forms, so preferable is go with Adobe Forms rather than Smart Forms or SAP Script. It has a lot of features available and it's advanced one. Okay, um, in this video, I'm going to explain how the Adobe is it's designed, especially from the technical perspective. And we try to understand what are the different areas are available in Adobe Forms and which part as a technical we need to give more attention. So very easily we can adapt uh, any kind of development for an Adobe Form. So that is the idea of this uh, video. So let's get into the slides first. So this slide explains how the Adobe is constructed for development. So there are three different areas. One is interface and then context and then layout. So interface, uh, we are going to see detail about each one in the following slides. So a very simple example could be or simple definition is interface is a place where you can declare and define the values based on your requirement and context is the place where you can drag and drop what are the informations you require it could be all the informations or it could be very less for example i have 10 uh, different declarations or done an interface but i need only seven for my requirement so that is going to be determined in the context level and from the context um, Okay, uh, before that, layout is a place where you can design your forms. It can have, it, it decides where your logo should be, where your date field should be, how the transactional data to be displayed. Everything is designed in the layout option. And if the layout needs some variables or some data medium to be accessed from interface, that can be done through context only. So there is no direct communication between interface and layout. Okay, so context plays a, uh, Place like a middle uh, middle layer between interface and layout. This is a very simple um, definition of this particular picture. And uh, Adobe um, transaction code is SFP is the transaction code to open an Adobe editor to start your development. And Adobe uh, we have a three not three four okay so three different function modules to call. Uh, to call your Adobe form, same like smart forms. Smart forms, we have uh, at least one function module, right? So here we have like job open, job closes, addition of two, and one more function module is it's going to convert the Adobe form into a function module, same like smart forms, but different function models which we are going to use. So basically, those are coming under your driver program. So to call us for Adobe, you need a driver program and some function modules, okay? So next is about interface. So what is interface? As I mentioned, all kind of declarations are happening and definitions are happening in interface area. So if you recollect the smart form design or the page where you can see your global definitions, form attributes, form interface, initialization, forms, field symbols, everything, right? Global data. Everything is coming under interface in Adobe. They simply uh, segregate the place where you want to declare and define whatever you want for your forms do it in the interface not in the forms okay uh, meaning uh, the place I'm talking about it still is in the Adobe forms only but there is a dependent uh, there is an independent entity we call it as interface where you can just do a declaration and definitions for your forms so under interface you have a form interface which has import export exceptions and global definitions you can able to declare a different data mediums like variable work area and body of an internal table initialization if you want to assign a values to your data medium go with this option and currency and quantity fields if you have any currency and quantity fields is declared in this area then you need a you need to do a reference for that that is coming under the currency and quantity fields okay so mostly in uh, the interface is used to declare and design um 
if 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 you work with a different project maybe the project have different adobe forms then the interface could be a bigger one or if it's just a one to one i have only one for adobe forms then i have only one interface only for that declaration we are going to take her in the interface part okay and this is a screenshot about it's just a comparison for your better understanding between how the smart forms look like and how the adobe look like okay adobe interface look like so everything is in one and it's coming under interface uh, option and then context context is the place where is going to determine what all data medium is needed for my design for my layout based on depends on the business requirement that is going to be decided in the context so we just simply drag the data medium or means variables whatever you declare interface and drop it in the context level okay uh, in addition you can have some compile time properties like you can do some options about your data medium uh, and uh, if you're in adobe some technical terminologies are very important we call it as data medium as node whatever variable or whatever data medium it's, we call it as it's a node okay so you can change the node name and description so if it is required because interface a declaration normally they declare as a variables but context in the layout you prefer in development phase you prefer uh, we go with little um, naming conventions or little readable names as like id underscore po instead of that purchase order details purchase order header if you feel then you can change the node name in the context that that is the same name is going to be used in the layout also okay and then there is an option to activate and inactivate your node uh, if 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 any node is inactive in your uh, context that is not going to be visible in the layout option uh, apart from that you have some conditions you can have some var conditions for an internal table so those also possible in the context level and layout so most of the time as a developer we are going to spend our um, developments or development time in the layout option only because compared to smart form and script we have lot of options available in adobe forms so especially that is coming into a design level so most of the time you're going to spend our uh, developments in the layout option only so we have lot will will go one by one and today i'm going to explain this design and i will show you uh, how to design a page and what are the uh, dependence uh, interdependent objects between the design view master page and everything and then uh, slowly we'll try to understand uh, some components uh, some basic components how to assign a values uh, and uh, how to read the information from the components mostly mostly the components part comes in the next video so this video we are going to try to understand the basic of adobe the design and how to call adobe okay excuse me so first option is palettes so here we have different palettes and it's a it's a menu name if you go to the layout it's a menu name called palettes where you can have different uh, options are available and frequently used options are object library um, you can i think everybody have seen the adobe form screen especially the layout part if you open a layout in the middle of the screen you have uh, what you called um, the page where you can do a design and uh, around that page uh, you can see small small boxes with the different names okay it's nothing but a different palettes so object library hierarchy data view objects everything every palette has its own name you can able to uh, identify what is the exact palette for that okay so here object library object library is the place where um you can able to see all the components like text box date field image button email lot of options right all the components are coming under object library palette and then hierarchy hierarchy is very important one because to understand uh, suppose um actually where we are in the layout whether we are in the master page or we are in the design view or uh, the body page or any container or we are in a sub form so everything we are going to understand with the help of the part called hierarchy and the data view data view data view data view is a place where um, 
you can see whatever data medium you have drag and dropped in the context that is available in the data view palette in that we are able to um, use it whenever you need in your layout option object is a place where you can see the properties of every component every component has its uh, different prop its, its own property like if you take a data field it may have a value it may have a binding and it has some other tab also and if you take uh, image it has only one option called draw and if you take uh, button it has a control type name description and then uh, and then control type so different properties depends on the component those those properties of a component all visible in object place and then report is nothing but a log and you can see after check and activate what happens what kind of warning messages or logs or um, recorder that you can able to see in the report option so you, the, there are a lot more coming under the palette uh, menu you just just play around once you start working with the adobe forms okay and then the two other areas also to be um, understand uh, before you start your adobe design as master page and design view uh, it's pretty simple master page is nothing but i want something to be enabled throughout my pdf uh, form so like output of adobe is nothing but a pdf okay all the pages all the pdf pages i want my company logo to be displayed so if you want something to be displayed throughout your pdf pages all the pages then go with the master page concept okay so master page okay over here master page uh, for every adobe you can have at least one master page it's a minimum requirement and you can have multiple master pages also depends on your requirement and every page has its default content area so these are little new compared to smartphones like uh, master page content area sub form and everything but it's it's pretty simple to understand so content area is the place where you can able to keep all your uh, components whatever you need that is nothing but a content area so by default every master page has its content area and then design view uh, again the terminology is very important so we we technically you can see a uh, design view but the people um, we used to call body page we used to call sub form uh, so it's it's all same for same name for the uh, sorry different name for the same component so design view in a simple way i can say all your transactional data are to be displayed in the design view so design view can have the same kind of components but especially this is for to keep all the transactional data and by default every body page or sub form can be assigned to the default first master page okay but there is an option you can just reassign it suppose i i need or i have three different master pages and three different body page i want to assign each one of it so in that case what i have to do was uh, by default all the body pages are assigned to the master page one so for second and third body page you have to reassign it to the relevant master page so body page two for master page two body page three for master page three that is also possible and what else okay driver program how to call adobe so the first function module is fp job open it actually returns the output parameter uh, you know about the parameters which is which we discuss in the smart forms to design you need a preview what is the printer setup and everything so those are just coming out of the output parameters but this current example means today's video i'm not going to use much about this output parameters so the next one is uh, the another function module which converts uh the smart forms or which generates the function module of the smart forms so that is nothing but fp function module name normally in smart form it start with ssf and then follow some name for the function module uh it gives if you give the smart form name it gives the function module same thing over here if you give the adobe form name it will give the function module for the particular adobe or relevant uh, adobe form and uh, you have to call this function module because that that needs everything all the designs are available over there and if the function module needs some input parameters so please assign it and just execute it and finally you have to close it as it's it's a common behavior if you open a job you have to close it so these are these are the three function models which which we use to call the adobe and this is nothing but to call the function module of your adobe so these are required in your driver program okay 
and yeah uh, this is just for information adobe life cycle designer suppose you you, you want to start your adobe practice in a customer place or in your company so mostly um, the environment is ready to start developing the adobe forms but sometimes what happens is not a practice adobe is not a practice in your um, system what happens is it, it is not available and sometimes uh, it could be depend on the individual system also not in the server level so your individual uh, pc or laptop also to be um, up, up to date to accept the uh, smart, so adobe forms if not what happens if you click the layout button it will give an error and try it just closed your entire adobe transaction so check with your basis or security people and just ask i need adobe lifecycle designer to be installed in my system so just install that if you get any error while you open the layout option okay otherwise you are good to go okay uh, that's it i hope you are able to understand the basic designs of adobe uh, let's get into the system and uh, play around just go through whatever we have discussed in the slide and just create some master pages and body pages try to reassign it and some components like text uh, just understand this is a page one page two page three and um, create a driver program called the adobe executor okay so that's what the remaining um, portion is uh, let's get into the system okay so this is my system and uh, things are ready like uh, adobe lifecycle or install so ready to uh, work with adobe forms so the first thing is interface so as i mentioned interface is an independent entity it's not coming under your adobe forms so it's an independent entity you have to create it before you create any adobe forms so i'm going to create my interface here and create uh, description test interface local object and this is the place where you can do all kind of declarations for your requirement could be a form interface if you want to in, uh, get an input from the driver program so create some inter form interface exceptions or global data types field symbols and if you want to assign some values subroutines everything is in interface only okay so uh, i'm not going to spend much time on this because we need to understand very basic about adobe so i'm going to have a few common declarations so one is for import parameter so import parameter i go with import i need um what is order number import po so this is going to be a type this is cbeln right and this is not optional so every time if if this sub our adobe is or this interface is going to call or adobe is going to call uh, po number is mandatory so if you feel it's going to be optional use this option and go to global data uh, create and i want some global data like gv um, net it's a type not sure about the data element now so let's do this MATNR and this is MATNR. okay if you want some default value or constant flag just make use of it and now i'm going to have a table type here so types begin of structure PO. then i'm going to have ebln type ebln then uh, EBELP type EBELP and then what else? Okay, MATNR type MATNR. That's it. And I'm going to close this. End of structure PO types TT. I'm creating a table type um, for PO type table of STU underscore PO. Okay, that is in the types under types then go to global data so i need a body of an internal table here so id underscore po and the type is tt underscore po okay so it's done so this is enough for now i've just created an interface with few declarations just act toward it so make sure it should active then only it will uh, visible in the context 
Now go back and create the Adobe form. Uh, CGI Adobe test. So create. Then it will ask what is the interface name? That's a mandatory. This Adobe and excuse me, interface test. Save it. Okay, so this is the place where you're able to see context and layout. There are two options. You have layout over here. It opens as a full screen layout and it's a different screen. And if it is a layout, it's a tab. It's open your layout in a tab. I prefer this because I'm in a remote system. So this might sometimes it may uh, hang my system or it may take some uh, take some more time to uh, copy my design and back to this Adobe. So most of uh, the videos I'm going to use the tab option for layout. Okay, so we'll go to this layout a little later and now come to the context for the design. So the left hand side is the interface, whatever you declare, it comes here. Okay, and for your design, what do you need? You need all three or only two, it depends, right? So let me go with the import parameter and let me go with this IT. Anyway, I'm not going to use any of this in my layout in this video. So this, that's fine. Okay. And once you add here, so you can see the properties down. So there you can able to see the names, like names can be editable. Okay. And what I'm going to do is purchase order, right? So I'm giving, okay, purchase order. So name of, I just changed the node. It's not a reflect here. This is only the context level and the same thing is displayed in your layout also. And uh, I'm saying it's a node, right? You can see, the, if you want to see, like I can say purchase order, TST, enter. So it shows very clearly node name has invalid syntax. So this is, they consider these are nodes, so node names, okay? And this is the another node. And if you want to um, keep this particular field as inactive, you have an option here. So inactive and click save, you'll get an X mark. So this is not going to be visible in your layout. So you can just make it active. It will really record in your design. Okay, so almost done. I'm not going to do much on this. So here you can see some conditions and you can see if it is an internal table, you can see some var conditions. Okay, so these all we'll see once you start working with the, any kind of a scenarios. Okay, and you have a description. If you want, you can add a description also. Then now I'm go with layout. So if you open a layout, normally there are three tabs. Uh, one is design view, another one is master view, and then PDF uh, preview. But here the third one is missing. The reason behind is this rental system, so the whatever our remote desktop, is not installed with Adobe. That is the reason. So even you can confirm it in the option called view PDF preview PDF is disabled because this system doesn't have Adobe. That's not a big deal because we are able to open the output using a Chrome because currently Chrome supports .pdf file also. You don't worry about it. Okay. And if it is a really required for you, just you check with your uh, customer and make sure mostly this won't happen in the customer system. So don't worry about it. By default, uh, this is the place where you want to design it. And these are the different palettes you have hierarchy, structure, data view, and object library and everything. And here you have a menu called palettes. Just click, a lot of options are available. Okay. So if you want a toolbar, just click. The toolbar will be enabled this one. So I don't want a toolbar. So let me take it out. Okay. And then object library is already open. So this is hierarchy is also already open. And then you have a report so currently it's not log anything so if there is any warning that is going to be displayed here okay so just play around uh, nothing harm here just let's see how it's work how, how it's look like and everything okay so now uh, and little understanding about this design view and master page in the hierarchy level oh, okay. you can be able to move actually okay these are kind of the box you can just move wherever you want so like let me close this yeah, little bigger one. So now, so here, um, try to understand this, then it's very easy to design it. Okay. So the first one is page set. 
So there's a page set. It's going to collect uh, more than one page, right? The page set under the page set by default you have one master page, and that master page has one content area. So you're going to keep whatever component you want inside the content area only. And by default you have one subform. Uh, you can call it as body page one, body page. Okay, body page also. Reference always not required, so I'm going to delete it. Okay. So this is the default one. Okay. So page, uh, if you select this, automatically th this control is uh, switch over between the tabs. If you click page, it goes to master page. So whatever you select, this um, entity is belongs to master page. If you select this, okay, this is belongs to design view. And select this, now the control switch over to master page. This is belongs to master page. So make sure uh, exactly where your component or the content are placed. So that is very important in Adobe. Okay. So now I'm going to have some text field to understand uh, which is master page and how the design views are uh, captured over there. Okay. Mm, let me have object library. So there are some shortcuts to open the, uh, the corresponding options. Object library, I want a text and just double click. So still I'm in a master page and there is a text. So it comes in the middle. So let me keep it a little upper. So what happens? Okay, let's see that. Master page. Um, I go with one because I'm going to add more master pages here. Okay, and then master page one is done. And then uh, if you want to add the text, so if you click text, it, it shows still this is in the master page. And uh, keep the cursor here and double click. The, the tab switches to design view. If you try to grab or try to modify this, it won't because this component is available in master page not in the design view currently we're on a design view okay so that you you make yourself a little comfortable on it how to identify the component is belongs to master or design view okay so this is no i'm not able to do anything on this because this component is belongs to master so now just double click text body page I just keep it in the master page. Okay, we are good. Okay. Uh, master page, right? Let me go to the object to see the properties. So, if you see the properties, the current is in page master page. If you see the properties, what is the page name and it is a, what is the type of the page and it is the orientation is portrait or landscape so a lot of options available pagination is also available over there so we are not going to much on this today uh, some properties so if you click this one and it's just a change okay so object is type what type of this this is just a text it doesn't have anything on that uh, maybe okay let me have date field okay if you have a date field and if you see the object so you can have field, you can have value, you can have a binding. So object properties or differs depends on your uh, component. Okay. So this we'll see a little later. Okay. And then go here. So here you can see subform. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of technicals, the design view, body page or subform. Okay. And what is the content as position and pagination is like following previous. So it shows following previous nothing but by default is going to be added in your master page only. There are option to change uh, this um, what do you call uh, master page also. So if you see on page, so on page page one because I have only one page. That's what it shows only one page. If I have more than one master page, it will listed all the master pages. Then you can switch so this body page is going to be in master page one two or three so let's have different master pages let me create a page here right click new master page and right click new master page so now i have three master pages page one page two page three so let me change the page to orientation go to the object so this is landscape okay 
and page 3 again portrait so to understand uh, let me have a text so I'm in the master page so cursor in master page uh, tab text master page 2 that's why it's two okay mm, that's fine here text master page 3 okay. so if you see master page 1 portrait master page 2 landscape master page 3 portrait okay so let me have a different body page also new page uh, you can rename it like this if you want to rename anything you can rename like this rename object suppose i want master page one right click rename master page two right click rename master page three okay so then i need some text over there so this is in the design view and that's a body page two okay then here text see this body page three i added two text okay delete it okay so master page then here Master page 2, master page 3, and design view. Master page 1, body page 1, and then master page 1, body page 2, master page 1, body page 3. Because I mentioned by default, all the body pages are associated with your initial master page, first master page. Okay, so if you want to change that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep page 2 for master page 2, page 3 for master page 3. So select the page to like uh, your body page and go to the object. So for the easy one, I'm just closing that one. Okay. So go to pagination and to here you have to get, say place on page P2. Okay. Now you're able to see master page two. It's available. So body page two is mapped with master page two. Okay. And then go to hierarchy, go to body page three and object for body page okay not the master one so there is an option called place here on page master page 3 so here you're able to see let me save it so master page 3 you have body page 3 okay and master page 2 body page 2 and master page 1 body page 1 um, if you have a pdf preview it's it's easy to just see the preview uh, without activating it but if you want to now there is no preview if you want to see the preview you have to activate and execute it then only you are able to see that one okay just save it so things done then let me activate it so i want to see the output it's passed Okay, let's execute it and give some values one, two, three, and execute. These are same like smart forms and print preview. Okay, yeah, uh, this is a common error. So runtime exception. So some system issue the connection issue. So I need to check with the rental provider. It might happen in yours as as well. So just check with the base, they will correct it. So it, it's very common in Adobe, okay? So what I can do is I don't want to waste uh, your time. Let me um, run, let me write the program, driver program also. And uh, I will ask my rental, probably he may fix it as, just soon. So once it is ready, I will just record that also and connect it to the same video, okay? So let's go to the program part, AC38. Be driver program. Driver program. Executable. Save it. So it's it's pretty simple. Uh, just call FP. J. 
job open. I might be wrong. Hold <laughs> one second. It's F P. Yeah. So actually, this needs to be declared. So I'll, I'll just come with the declaration a little later. Uh, then I don't want this. Uh, this is just for easy, just visible everything in one screen. Try to so, but always keep the exceptions in uh, any function module. And another one is FP function. Function module name. Okay, so here I have to give my Adobe form name. So my Adobe form is back. Okay, because of the connection error, still it's inactive. Okay, I didn't notice that. And which this gives your function module name if um. And I need to call that one so you know how to call this because every execution of your Adobe you will get a function module name. So here if you go and execute, so here it is. Normally in smartphones it goes to your function module initial screen but here it skipped that one. So copy and save this. Currently I don't have any parameter so it means import parameters to be passed in this function module so just simply I am calling that. Okay, anyway, this is the mandatory um, input parameter, P1 number. I don't want anything that's just delete. And finally, I need FP job close. Okay, so nothing to be enabled here. So just a function model is enough. So it's very basic. Okay, I'm not using, we're not using any parameters here. So these are the four things to be called and two data mediums to be declared data wa output and then function module name fm name okay and one more thing i have to do i need to change the function module um, the hard coded function body name with the variable so this is the declaration I want for the output parameter and for function module name this one okay and one more to be changed as this one because normally we won't go with Hardcoded value. Okay, so almost done. Uh, you can play like uh, check activate and execute. Obviously, you will get an error. Let's see. If fight LP01 print review. Yes, the exception caught. So this needs to be fixed. Uh, I will fix it hopefully soon. And uh, once it has fixed it, I'll just come and add it in the same video. Okay. Um, let's wait. Okay, um, here it got fixed. So the same Adobe forms, if I just click activate, I'm getting activated. So previously it got soap runtime error kind of. So now it's activated and I'm going to execute this. This is a function generated function module. And this is the mandatory uh, form interface. So form parameter, I just give whatever because I'm not using anything in my Adobe. Just execute it. Um, it's fine one more time print preview and as i'm not having adobe installed so it's trying to open my pdf uh, file using a chrome so it's, it's asking you want to file open or save i'm, I'm good with uh, open now just click open it's open in the chrome not in the adobe because it's not installed it's very uh, basic thing once you install it automatically open in the adobe 
uh, application. So this is master page one, body page one, and the master page two, body page two, and this is in the landscape uh, design, and then master page three, body page three. Okay, so this is the way it, it gets output. And let me run my program also. Um, will open in the same manner. Let's see here. Um, yeah, it's a one. Execute. Print review. Yes, it's same way. I just click open. It's opened. Okay. So uh, I hope you are able to understand about Adobe and the basic design of Adobe, like master page and body or design view and then palettes, uh, everything. Just play around and we'll come up with some more videos on the uh, same playlist. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye.